Hey everybody, it's Jonathan from Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County, your source for all things outdoor living and major appliances as well. Today's video is going to be short, pithy, and hopefully very insightful. What I'm going to do is another outdoor kitchen analysis, and this is a special outdoor kitchen we're going to talk about today because if you go to our gallery, okay, this kitchen is definitely the most popular one that people uh, inquire about. And this is a job that was done in Scarsdale, New York in Westchester County. Um, this is 10 feet long, give or take. And working from the left to the right, we have a Primo ceramic grill. That's a Primo XL with a uh, rectangular insert at the bottom to put wood in. Um, moving, I'm not looking at the picture right now, so this is off the top of my head. Moving next, we have the Alfresco double or dual trash uh, recycle bin drawer. Then we have a 42 inch ALXC Alfresco grill, natural gas, I believe, with 42 inch access doors underneath it. Next, we have the Alfresco triple draw with paper towel bin on the top. And then we have access doors with an undermount sink. 10 feet long. Notice there is no refrigeration. Why? Because the island tees off the house. The main kitchen is right there. There is no need for refrigeration. They also don't have a pool, so no worries about wet feet going in and out of the house for their beverages or for the adults, their libations. Why do I love this kitchen? First of all, it's absolutely beautiful and it's so simple and it also hits upon um, every method of cooking you can want to do with only two different cooking devices and we'll dive into that in a second first of all the design it's so chic yet simple um this was actually designed by a top top architect who um decided to do something completely against the grain and that was to use stucco yes this is flat stucco which I had not seen Stucco use in an outdoor kitchen in years. And she opted to do it on this build. And um, they also used a absolute black granite countertop. The, I mean, it looks beautiful. It's also a little bit thinner than a normal slab of granite. I can get the, um, uh, the centimeters if uh, you're interested in that. But they're not on a southern exposure, so they don't have the afternoon sun uh, baking this island because normally you really want to want to do um, an absolute black granite um, uncovered, you know, canopy, pergola, etc. with uh, southern with that southern exposure. It's just going to become another cooking surface. Um, I mean, everything is here. It's in 10 feet. They use the space efficiently and beautifully. It doesn't feel cramped whatsoever. Um, the decision here was they wanted um, the husband is um actually he's from argentina and he always uh I mean, he grew up cooking with charcoal and wood all the time this thing about using gas to barbecue is very foreign to him i mean they went with the 42 inch alfresco because of the fact of alfresco's reputation and it's a phenomenally built grill they got the solid fuel in sir blah 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 but he had to have something that burns solid fuel. So that's why they went with the Primo XL. Um, I own a Primo. Um, he has a very good friend of his who is a very avid, avid outdoor cook. And he has a Primo XL and he just sold him on it. And he does everything. He does slow, slow and low barbecue out here. He does his steaks, um, sears them up with the wood. Um, I mean, he absolutely loves it. So he, he can do anything out here. Just with the gas grill and the Primo, you could turn it into a pizza oven. You could do your slow and low barbecue. You could throw something on quickly on the alfresco. And of course, you know, the alfresco's got all of its different, different uh, cooking attachments. Uh, I mean, you, there's plenty of videos about that. We don't need to get into that right now. But I mean, they just nailed it with this in terms of simplicity, the aesthetics, the ability to cook in any which way they want. And they bucked the trend, you know? They just said, you know what? We're not gonna go do e wood. We're not gonna do some type of like stone veneer or tile. We're seeing these things. I'm going back to stucco, but it's a flat stucco notice. It's not the stucco with the ripples, which that would definitely look very 1998 or 2002, I don't know. But uh, this is definitely the kitchen we are asked about the most. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to hit me up. 
Um, which email should I use? Questions at rofgrills.com. Um, that's a good way of getting me. Or you can call us at the showroom, 914-793-5600. Uh, we're here to help. We'd love to help you with your outdoor kitchen project. The season has just begun. So um, uh, please hit me up with any questions. And thank you for your time.